and welcome to Economist. I am Juliana and today in tonight's episode we have two special guests, the two economists, and up first is Thomas Moffitz. pandemic of hunger. Well, I believe that unless family size is regulated, man's misery of hunger would become a global epidemic and eventually consume man. What do you think the regulation of family size do for starvation? Well, unless family size is regulated and allowed to increase in an uncontrolled way, then the number of people would increase in the faster rate of the food supply. So what you're trying to say is what would you consider being the main problem of the economy? Well, I really have three main like concerns about the economy. One would be the overproduction of the young. The Number two would be the inability of resources to keep up with the rising human population. And then I think the third one would probably be the irresponsibility of the lower class. What do you think the lower class has to do with the economy? Well, really, the lower class is overpopulating. They have more children because of misery. And like it just leads to a global epidemic of hunger because there's not enough food for everybody. Hmm, that's very interesting. All your main points are very clear, Thomas. Well, for the next guest that we have is Adam Smith. Thank you and stay tuned. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you for inviting me. So to start off, what would you think the economy should be based on? Well, I have three main theories, and that would be um, division of labor, freedom of trade, and self-interest. Those are like what basically all of my, the book that I wrote, The Wealth of Nations, that's what it's all about, about those three main theories. All right, Mr. Smith, for those viewers at home that don't really know what you're talking about, could you go into more details of what the division of labor is? Well, um, the division of labor um, is when you um, split up the work on one item that's specialized, that everyone specializes in, and like everything's done much quicker since like the work is divided up to work on that one item. And what about the freedom of trade? <clears throat> Well, freedom of trade is um, being able to trade with anyone without having like um, without having like regulations or or like other things. So, when it comes to those regulations, other things, what do you believe the price should be determined? Well, I believe the price should be determined on like it should be based on the labor of cost, like how much you pay your employees, or like how much it, it like costs to like make each thing. So yeah, I think I believe that's what it should be based on. All right, and on the final note, what would you like to leave us with? Well, I would like to leave you guys with like, basically, an an economy should be run by like free ways. Like you should be able to do everything freely, and I feel like that in that way it could be successful. Well, very nice, Mr. Smith. Very well put. And that is all for now for e Economists. And stay tuned for the next week's episode when we talk about other economists. When the night has come And the land is dark And the moon is the only light
sight will see No, I won't be afraid Oh, I won't be afraid Just as long 